Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a distressed text effect and customize it however you like on any font. So, as you can see, this is something that we're going to come up with something like this. But to demonstrate, I'm just going to start off with a blank text layer. So, you can grab your typing tool here, pick a font that you want, and a size that you want. I'm just going to use a large brush so you can see and then write out any word that you want. So I'm just going to use text here for a sample word. And you can also pick whatever color you want. I'm just going to use a bright red because I think it looks good against this this dark blue background. And let me make it a little bigger. Alright, now once you've positioned the text where you want and you have the font that you want, all you have to do to add a distressed and grungy look to it is go to Layer, Layer Mask, and select Reveal All. Now this adds a layer mask and we can begin erasing parts of our image with it. So if you click on the layer mask and grab your brush tool and use a black, solid black color, that will hide anything that we paint on. So I have this set of coffee stain brushes that I've gotten from a free Photoshop brush website. I can't remember which one exactly, but I'll add a link below to some websites where you can get cool brushes like this. And if I just click on the layer mask and paint black, you see that it erases that part of the text. So what we can do with this kind of effect is create a cool grungy look like that and the cool part is that if we ever mess up it's not like we're actually erasing from the text layer and we never rasterize the text so we can always go back and adjust the size of the font and everything is fully editable instead of the normal method which would be to go to the eraser tool and rasterize the text and then erase it which you can't really make mistakes that way. So this is the most non-destructive way to do this. And even if you don't download any fo any extra Photoshop brushes, if you just go to the default Photoshop brushes here, like say this one right here, which is on the default brushes, you can also get some pretty cool effects with what comes with Photoshop. So let me head over to the brushes panel. Let's turn on scattering, take off dual brush. And as you can see, that's also a pretty cool brush setting there that you can create. So you don't even have to download anything and you can still get cool effects. This also works on shape layers and any other type of layer you want. So Hopefully you can use this to create some cool text effects and or shape layers or any other item that you want to distress. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out my channel for more and I'll see you next time.